Asia's art market is vibrant and growing with bright prospects to come as China's Belt and Road Initiative links countries economically, culturally and artistically. Top auction house Sotheby's has been a pioneer in the art market globally and regionally. We came uh, to Hong Kong in 1973 at the time, it was actually the first international auction house ever to come to Hong Kong and to Asia. Now we're doing 11 categories, we have 40 sales a year. It's grown from virtually two, three people to a staff of 160, just in Hong Kong. The economic rise of China has seen the country become a large art collection power, followed by Southeast Asia. What we've seen in the last five years is that the Chinese collectors, as well as collectors from Southeast Asia, they're not only buying art from their own countries, they now actually participate globally. In 1996, we actually started selling Southeast Asian art. So there's like art coming from a, a lot of the countries, which are now actually from the Belt and Road. We're actually talking about the countries along the sea route, the Silk Road. What I'm beginning to see is that we gradually will be selling art from the economic belt over land as well. Work by artists from uh, the Caucasus and from Central Asia. So artists from Iran, Azerbaijan, from Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and all these countries. With the modern Belt and Road a work in progress, cultural exchange and appreciation drive a new trend. Look at the artist we're showing now in our gallery. He traveled to, to North Africa, to the Middle East, to get inspiration for the landscape, for unusual landscape paintings that these has now um, produced. It means that artists will be much more motivated to cross boundaries. They'll be traveling a lot more in these countries and they'll be inspired by new sceneries, by new encounters with the people new cultures and new traditions. The same should also be true of the art market itself along the Belt and Road Initiative. There will be cultural exchange and there will be appreciating and buying each other's art. I think that is what we're seeing. You already see a very significant increase in collectors, in art galleries and exhibitions. For the auction business, I think this is definitely good news because for us, what is essential is that we have to keep getting our clients, keeping them excited. One of the ways to do that is to actually keep expanding categories so that they'll get to see something that's fresh in the market, something that's never been seen before. And nothing could be better than art from very talented people from a totally new world. And that's what we will see if we continue to uh, explore all the possibilities along the Silk Road. As an auction house that straddles the major markets of New York, London and Hong Kong, Sotheby's covers 40 countries with 16 on the Belt and Road Initiative, with Hong Kong the headquarters for Asia. At the beginning we're only in Hong Kong, but now we actually have uh, 11 offices in Asia. I dare say Hong Kong has all the best uh, facilities uh, for promotion of art. Logistics, venue, everything is, is perfect. And also the law governing the import exportation art is very user friendly. And all these actually contribute to um, Hong Kong's success as an art hub. 